Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about one branch of physics, classical mechanics. Have you ever thought about what goes behind the scenes of game physics? How this interaction between the objects in the scene are done and how are they calculated? What kind of options are there and what they mean? Because if you create a lot of physics objects in your scene, there's a lot of calculation that goes into calculating all the collisions and behaviors of the physics object. And if you're not using the right type of physics for the right tasks, you might get into issues and the game might slow down or not behave as expected. The three types of physics that are commonly used in game engines are static, we shouldn't have any movement, and it wouldn't respond to any force. All it would do is allow other objects to collide with it. Then we have kinematic. A kinematic object can be moved, but kinematic object ignores all forces that act on it. And the most heavy one on calculation is dynamic. A dynamic object can be affected by all the forces around it, and the mass of the dynamic object affects its behavior. In this scene, we have a gravity force. If we enable dynamic physics of our dynamic object, that force acts on the dynamic object and it falls down. The kinematic object, we have a movement into the right direction. So if we enable kinematic, the object moves and it collides with the dynamic object and moves the dynamic object. Notice that there is no impact from the dynamic object to the kinematic object. It just continues moving with a speed that we set it to. A static object should be moved, but if you move the static object, the behavior of a static object can vary from engine to engine. For our demonstrations, we are using Billbox engine, and let's demonstrate what happens with Billbox if you move a static object. So we enable the debug mode, which allows us to see all the collision shapes, and let's turn on a dynamic object, and as we've seen before, the kinematic object collides with a dynamic object and moves it. With static object, if we force a movement on a static object, we can see that the static object moves, but it doesn't collide with a dynamic object. And the reason for that is because in BuildBox, if you use a static physics, the collision shape of that object never moves, and you can see it right here. It's just in the same place where the static object was. In the Unity Engine, the collision shape moves with a static object which can seem that it's fine to move static objects, but that is not the case. You're not supposed to move static objects. So let's take a look at examples of where would you use what type of physics. A static object you would use for creating walls, roofs, boundaries of your game, platforms, something that you know that shouldn't be moved in the game. By using static physics, you're limiting how much processing power is required to calculate the behavior of a static object. A static object has the least amount of calculation out of the three physics types. You use kinematic physics for objects that you need to move in the game. So for instance, a moving platform in your game is not supposed to be static, it should be a kinematic object. A dynamic object can be used for your player, so you can have jump and the gravity can affect it, you can move right and left, and if you have objects in your game that you want the player to interact with and move them, you can also have them as a dynamic. And at the end, we can put all of those physics types together and we can create a game. A moving player that has to move a box so he can jump far enough to get on top of the platform. And this is an example of how you use three types of physics to create a gameplay. Now let's take a look where we can select a type of physics in Billbox, and then we can take a look how we set it up in Unity. Let's start with an empty object. Let's add a cube. Here's a new object that we created. And in Billbox, in our option panel on the right side, we have start node, and we can enable physics. When we enable physics, we have our three options, static, dynamic, and kinematic the same types we discussed in the video. If you want to look at all the options that are available for physics in Billbox, you can add a cube to your scene and turn on Collision Editor by clicking on this icon in the corner. And then when you select a Start Collision, you have all these options for physics. And we're planning to make detailed videos about all the options we have, so stay tuned for that. And now let's take a look what we have on physics in Unity. So let's add a new 3D object. Let's use a cube, and in Unity, when you create a cube, 
the cube gets created with a box collider. And the box collider is considered a static object in Unity. If you want to use kinematic or dynamic physics, you need to add what's called the rigid body. And we can switch this rigid body to kinematic. By default, the rigid body is a dynamic object. So if you want a kinematic object, you have to check this box. And there's more options that are available in here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next one.